Hey, so I wanted to make a video today talking about something that happened to me the other night. I was um, lying in bed and I couldn't fall asleep. Um, I was overstimulated and I thoughts running through my mind and I was wondering why that was. So maybe this has happened to you at some stage too. I'm sure it has. It's a pretty common thing and I think it's something that's becoming increasingly more common. Um, more and more people are being diagnosed with ADHD for example but the kind of world that we now live in with so much social media so much electronic news so much information rushing at us all the time it is a kind of information overload it's a sensory overload and in our day-to-day -day life we can consume that stuff and we're aware that it might be having some effect on us but i think we're also not aware of the underlying effect that it can have on, on us especially when it comes to things like falling asleep or consuming that kind of stuff um, too late at night um but it got me thinking about how generally overly stimulated um we might be in life and in my particular case that night, I was thinking about how my day to day felt so similar that week. Every day and really maybe for the last few weeks, uh, every day was feeling a bit like Groundhog Day. I think when you're overly stimulated and you're feeling like you're living in a bit of a Groundhog Day each day, then it becomes a pattern and it becomes quite a strong pattern where you're not experiencing too much novelty in your real life and you have this wave of novelty coming at you um, in an electronic format which is kind of the exact opposite of what we evolutionarily are supposed to experience um, so that absolutely would have to have some negative effects especially if it's something um, that peaks in your thought process as you're getting closer to sleeping and as I was lying there, one of the things um, that occurred to me uh, was a line from this book, Indistractable, by Nir Ayal. Ayal, hope I'm pronouncing that right. It's a good book. It's not a very exciting read, but it certainly has some good points in it. Um, one of the big things that he talks about is controlling the inputs, um, controlling the inputs in your life. Um, so that's controlling you know, the electronic sources of inputs and distractions, but also controlling what you input your time into. And that's a pretty big concept um, because, you know, I'm a bit of a dreamer, like many people are, maybe you are too. And it's very easy to get lost in plan making and looking at maps and thinking, oh, I might, you know, travel there or um you know you might have a plan to do something to um go on a holiday somewhere or yeah whatever the case may be uh, dreamers would be dreamers but to control the where you put your time um is a big thing i mean it's very obvious but when it's phrased that way it really it rings a bell with me um that controlling your input and where you put your time is such a big thing and you know it's one of the things i think that is leading a lot of people towards wanting to live in a simpler way um even in a political sense people hearkening back to simpler times you know everyone looks back <laughs> at the past and they say well not everyone but certain people look back and say oh the past was better and in some metrics it probably was better better but you know Everyone looks back at their younger years uh, with certain rose tinted glasses, even if things weren't in fact objectively any better back then. Um, but that yearning to want to come back to a simpler way of living, that's very real. And I think it's driven partly through a certain nostalgia for how life was before uh, or how we perceive life was before. Uh, but also the very real aspects of modern life around um, overstimulation and um, yeah everything that the electronic sort of media landscape throws at us. 
So controlling the inputs, that was a very comforting thought for me. And it's something that I'm certainly going to be investing um, more of my uh, weekly plan into just controlling uh, the inputs, you know, so um, whatever that might be in your case, you know, identifying what are the three or four priorities you may have in your life. You probably can't have more than, you know, four or five priorities, I suppose. If you do, then item six and seven probably aren't really priorities. And, you know, really looking at your calendar and saying, okay, if these are really my priorities, how much time do you, in fact, spend putting into them? And I think sometimes, at least in my case, I might look at something like, I love watching movies. I love it you know i love watching a good tv series and i and i really really enjoy watching good movies you know um i don't think it's a waste of time um but it's probably not a priority <laughs> in my life to watch movies uh but you know i allow myself the time to do that so it should probably be factored in a little bit in in how i plan my week so that uh, i don't find myself watching movies all the time when I want to be doing other things. And really uh, thinking about controlling the inputs is a very simple way of uh, thinking about how to plan your week or how to plan your time. And it also, I think, allows you to resist those things that would take your time um, away from what you had planned to spend it on. The other aspect of this is you know, lying there feeling like um, your day-to-day -day life is, you know, very similar day-to-day. -day. Maybe you're frustrated and you're kind of tired with that. And you're feeling overly stimulated on one hand and then Groundhog Day happening on the other hand. And really, without actually um, changing your location or making any massive life changes, you can actually change up your day a lot by just controlling those inputs and really changing um, what it is you do day to day. You know, if you're meaning to take up an instrument and you haven't been doing it, well then just control the time. Um, set that time out and do it every day. Do it every second day, whatever it is you plan to do. And you know, I apply that to myself with uh, this YouTube channel, which I've done nothing with really. And I do want to start making more videos. So control the inputs and the results will come.